Like just something happens and then they just fall back into that pattern. Like that is the thing, you guys. You guys have to really be able to adapt when you get to a certain point. You have to be able to pivot. You have to be able to change directions. Like, and that's the goal to life, period. Like once something ain't working out, that don't mean fall short and you just, oh, uh, uh, and then fall back into your same habits. Like that's not how we do in life. We are learning to change. We are learning to pivot. And if you want a certain goal, you're gonna have to learn how to do that a lot. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. So I just wanna say, welcome to 2024. Like 2024 feels so personal to me. It feels like it brings a different kind of energy. I also don't know if it has something to do with the fact that this is my last year in my 20s. Like I'm turning 30 next year. I'm also getting married next year. Like life is literally changing before my eyes and I'm just like, whoa. But anywho, I just wanna talk to you guys really quick. I wanna have like a quick chat with you guys. Now, I know it's the first of the year or the beginning of the year and we're seeing a lot of content talking about goals and setting goals and making vision boards and like just all this goal talk and vision board talk, but it's like what I want the most for you guys this year is to really stop playing with yourself. Like hold yourself accountable to a lot of different things because at the end of the day, like how many times have you written this same goal? Like how many times have, have the years gone by and your goal at the beginning of the year was the same goal? Like how many times? Like how many times have you had the same picture on your vision board? Because I'm talking to myself right now. I've had the same picture on my vision board for years. And at this point, it's literally time to stop playing with myself, like legit, because at the end of the day, if you want something, no matter the circumstances, you're gonna figure a way out to get it. You're gonna figure out a way to survive. You're gonna figure out a way to get it. Like, and that's what I want you guys to really come for in 2024, because that's what I'm coming for. And when I say this, I want you guys to really I wouldn't say pause on the goal setting, but I would say to be more realistic when you're setting your goals. For me last year, I achieved beyond my goals. I set one simple goal and that was a goal for me to feel more comfortable in my body, which I achieved and I achieved that probably within the first two months. At the end of January last year, I was already down 20 pounds and I was able to keep this weight off all the way into the end of the year. And at the end of the year, we all might gain a little weight. I mean, we had Thanksgiving, I had a graduation, I had my family Christmas party, I had Christmas, and then I had New Year's Eve. So like I got some holiday pounds I can, I can lose. And that's okay because I feel like I set myself up for success last year because my goal was to feel comfortable in my body. So I was in my gym princess era. I was in my gym girl era. I was in my Pilates hottie girl era. So I have created a system of habits that work for me like what you guys have to realize is these goals that you set you have to show up for the person who's achieving those goals you have to show up as if you already have those things and it can it can be kind of blurry because you can be like how am i supposed to show up as a millionaire who has passive income and doesn't work and does this you should be doing the work now. Like if you want passive income, you need to be building your digital downloads. Like you need to be looking into real estate. You need to be setting yourself up for that success or say a millionaire, like they may have a bomb ass routine. They're getting up at 5 a.m. They're meditating, they're going to the gym. They're after they go to the gym, they do their business plan, blah, blah, blah. Like they are actively taking steps to embody the person that they wanna be. So that's what you guys have to really think about before the goal like we have the goal as the end point but like don't get lost in the process 
Like you're supposed to go through the process and the process may not look pretty all the time. Because like I said, my only goal last year for real was for me to feel comfortable in my body. I achieved that by February, honestly. So then April comes around and I fall off of the Stairmaster, my favorite gym machine. I literally fall off and sprain my ankle so bad that I was on a boot. I had to move around in a scooter. I also have a dog that I had to take out because I live here in Texas by myself. So I had to adapt to that situation. And I was in my gym girl era. I was in my gym princess era. Like I'm like, this totally could set me back but I didn't let it. I had the habits already of eating healthy. I had the habits already of working out. So what I did to adjust and pivot and make a little change so I can still achieve these goals, I found a YouTube workout. Obviously I started doing this once I was feeling a little bit better because before I could not walk on this ankle at all. But once I was able to put some weight on it, I found a YouTube workout that was Pilates that was specifically for people with a broken ankle. So this way I was still able to get a workout in. And if you know Pilates, Pilates is very low impact, very slow. You're not burning a whole bunch of calories in Pilates. So I had to be mindful of that. Like I was used to getting on a Stairmaster running. I was used to burning a thousand calories in a day. To not being able to do that, I might've burned a hundred calories in a day, 80 calories in a day. I mean, just based on my watch, I know your body naturally burns calories, but my active calories were very low. So I made sure that I was in a calorie deficit. And the crazy thing is the calorie deficit was so much easier when I wasn't working out. Like I was able to really pick up on my hunger cues and really just think about like, I'm not even really hungry right now. I was drinking my water. I was eating foods that was filled with waters. I was eating lots of watermelon. I was eating lots of um, cucumber, like water-based fruits. And that's pretty much I was all I was eating. I was eating like fruit throughout the day and then I would do like a veggie and a carb at night. I'm a vegetarian so I don't get too much protein. I know the protein police might come get me, but I'm gonna try this year to figure out how to get this protein in my diet efficiently. But anywho, so I, actually ended up losing more weight when I was injured and obviously like I was eating less but like I still was embodying the person who wanted to feel comfortable in their body even with that major setback and after I was able to come out of the boot, I started physical therapy. And after I started physical therapy, I started walking outside. Like I wasn't ready to get back on the Stairmaster because I ain't gonna hold you up. I was a little traumatized, I was scared. So I started walking outside and I was still doing that same Pilates video. When I tell y'all my stomach had never been so flat in my life, but that's because I was embodying the person that I wanted to be. Do you know how many people stop their weight loss goals because of something like just something happens and then they just fall back into that pattern like that is the thing you guys you guys have to really be able to adapt when you get to a certain point you have to be able to pivot you have to be able to change directions like and that's the goal to life period like once something ain't working out that don't mean fall short and you just oh uh, uh, and then fall back into your same habits like that's not how we do in life we are learning to change we are learning to pivot and if you want a certain goal, you're gonna have to learn how to do that a lot. So another thing that I like to do um, to help me really like get in that mood to embody that person, I like to create mood boards. So I would go on Pinterest and I would find photos of like people that I wanted to look like or foods that I wanted to eat or motivational quotes or um, infographics on cycle syncing, like just making sure I was pouring into the person that I wanted to be and made sure I had this stuff readily available. So sometimes like I would do like a social media fast and I would just scroll, I know Pinterest is probably considered social media, but I would scroll my Pinterest board if I was ever feeling like down or just trying to get back in my groove and that helped me get back to that vibration that I needed to be in. Another thing that I will, I love to do and I still do this, I need to probably do this today because I haven't because I'm trying to stay focused and do my videos, but I like to meditate in the sauna or in the shower. 
So what I like to do is I like to go on YouTube and I like to find like a guided meditation to where it can really help me visualize like my dream life. And you find meditations that focus on dream life. So they're going through these prompts to really make you think and get in the emotion and really feel who you need to be. So I think meditation and visual visualization is very, very powerful. And it can really just, I feel like, help you get in that frequency. Because a lot of times people will be like, oh, well, I can't see it, so I don't know how to do it. Or it doesn't feel close enough, so I'm just giving up. But like, this is how you make your goals feel closer to you. You embody them. You get in vibration. You get in action mode. Like, it is grind time and it is time to stop playing. Like, for real, for real, y'all. And when I tell you this stuff works, it works. And if you're a person who likes to write things down, because like I said, like, this is the last year that we write the same thing down. If you're a person who likes to write things down, something that is super, super, duper powerful is scripting. Like, your life is a movie. What do you want to happen? Write it down as if it has already happened. You have to write these things with deep emotions. And then close it. Like you can't continue to harp on something, especially if you're not working towards it. Write it down, forget about it, and just show up as that person. Like, because honestly, you deserve it. Like, why not? Why not you? Like, literally think about it. Why not? Why not you? So, like I said, this is the last, last, last year that we're writing the same goal down for New Year's resolution. This is the last year that we're putting that same picture on that vision board. It is grind time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you find it helpful, share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys later. Bye.